Hello and welcome to Freelance Speaker Plan website. This is the video tutorial how to use number two. And as we finish from the last video, just opening the 3D file. Now let's see what we will find inside the 3D file. The main important information is the model tree. As you can see here in the top left, it will contain many features of your model. The first one is a body that contains the same name of the model you download and inside this body you will see the sketch. This is the core of the drawing and we will have a dedicated video to talk about the sketch. And we also saw from the previous video why sketch is important. Then there will be some models that you will also find faces and faces are used to calculate the area and then the volume of the chambers. Then you will see the spreadsheet that we will talk about in some minutes. And next you will find many different bodies. And as you can see here, while I mouse over and selecting the bodies, a different body will be highlighted in the screen and if you press the space key in your keyboard that particular body that are the internal and external panels will be hide or show in the screen so as you can see I'm hiding a lot of panels you can also select the body that contains the loudspeaker name to hide the sketch. So this can make it a more clean way to visualize your information and it's up to you to decide what you want to see or not in the screen. By default I let all the bodies active so they are show by default and the faces are hide by default. Now Let's go to the spreadsheet and to open it, you just double click on it. Inside the spreadsheet, you will find the version control and you will find three different groups. One group dedicated for horn rasp model. There will be one group dedicated for driver and one group dedicated for the sketch input. This particular group is nice because you don't need to go inside the sketch to remember what values you give as input there. You can control by the spreadsheet. It's important to mention that we have two different cells colors and here there is a legend for you to understand. The yellow ones are cells which the values are provided by the user and the green ones are the cells which the values are calculated by the software. So the user should not change the green ones. They should change only the yellow ones. So let's take for instance, you want to use a 10 inch driver. So you need to define the buffle hole for that driver size. In this case, 35 centimeters is for a 15 inch driver. So if you want to use a 10 inch driver, you need to reduce this value. So you can change all those values indicated in yellow. And there are some values that you can let with zero indication, like the volume of the throat chamber, the area of the throat chamber, the advanced parameter of the driver. If you let those particular cells with zero, the model runs the same. They are just offered for advanced user that can fine tuning the simulation using more advanced data. So regarding the driver, I have a, a nice tip for you because the input data here is aligned with what horn rasp request from the user so you can go to the free loudspeaker plan web page and in the main page you can go down there will be some 
useful website links for you. There is this one loudspeaker database. You can go there. It's a very nice and well done website that offer many different driver models and brands for you to access very easily the data. So let's take this one for instance, the Radian 2002 16 Neo. So go in there, you can see the TL small parameters. You can also see import the subwoofer in a box design software with horn rasp indication. So let's click on it. It will pop up a download screen with a text file. Let's download it. Now I'm opening this file so you can see inside this text file there are some TL small parameters to be used in horn rasp. Exactly the same what we want to input here in FreeCAD exactly the same ones so to avoid error or mistakes i would suggest you for the driver you want to use go in this website and get the data for the driver you want to use there and input this information here so we can close also the spreadsheet there is an indication here that you can show more or less for each model. As we can see here, the sketch is like a children for the main body. And if you click on the other bodies, it will show you more information. Those information are more important for advanced user that wants to modify or to create their own models for you particularly that just want to use this model and you don't know much about CAD softwares you don't need to pay too much attention what is inside here I think if you just learn and understand how to show or hide the body and how to access the information it's enough for you so that's it for this video and in the next one let's talk deeply about the sketch. Thank you so much.